So um, what I'm, all I'm doing in all of these coins is I'm taking it from one site to the other and putting up a higher price for it. Hey everybody, this is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, we've been gone in, to Virginia and Colorado. You guys already heard about that. Uh, but we got a lot of packages while we were out, a whole lot of coins while we were out. Um, and we're going to gotta tell you guys a few ways that you can buy and sell um, and also source a lot of your coins either on Facebook, Instagram, um, eBay. I'm going to give you a lot of insight in this video on how to find coins that uh, you may need for your customers or for your collection for a good price. So uh, stay tuned and we'll show you guys everything that came in. I think we had like 25 packages. So stay tuned. Wow, guys! I just got home from uh, I just got home from the the long trip that we just had, and it's been crazy. Um, well, like you guys just saw a few moments ago, uh, we got the mother load of shipments in. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about uh, ways we buy and ways we sell uh, U.S. numismatics in terms of finding them, sourcing them, and also listing them as well. Uh, we're trying to give out the best knowledge we can for free. Um, just so you guys can either do what you guys want in terms of finding new things for your collection, but also maybe buying and selling some stuff too. So we're going to show off you guys a few uh, better dates today, and also a few, um, you know, a few tone coins that we got in. Uh, there's just so much stuff that we can't even show you guys all the stuff in this video, um, but we're going to show you guys the cream of the crop stuff. But uh, this is an 1896 uh, Morgan Dollar rated MS64 Star by uh, NGC. Uh, it's got the little hint of color up top, um, and we're going to show you guys every single, uh, tell you guys where every single one of these coins were bought today. Um, this one was found on a Facebook page um, called Lion of Judah uh, Coins and Currency, I believe. Um, I'm going to show you guys actually all um, of the groups that I participate in, so you guys can start sourcing there and finding some coins that you like. So we found the coin there. Um, uh, it ends up uh, being really good for us because we got it for a good price. Uh, we met somebody that's a really nice dealer on there. And, uh, and the stars like we've been talking about in the past few episodes have been really hot lately. Um, so if we can get our hands on more of these, we always do. Um, a little bit more of a common date, but it does have that little accent to it. But let's move into the next coin. This is an 1880s great MS-65 star by... Uh, NGC. Uh, the thing I like about this coin is it has a little bit nicer of a color progression. It is a little bit darker um, and this holder is a little bit more scratchier um, but as you can see it by the obverse it's really really flashy and um, it has that nice eye appeal to it as well as the reason why NGC gave it that. I gotta wipe it down this holder a little bit more before we sell it um, but we also found this coin on Facebook. I'm um, in the Lion of Judah group. Uh, someone posted it for a bin um, and we grabbed it. So um, if you guys can start finding coins that you like and then start finding people that like those coins with you, um, you can end up actually buying something and flipping it pretty quickly. Um, this coin I'll actually buy on Facebook and I'll flip it to somebody on Instagram because uh, they're not too savvy with that stuff and they just need someone uh, to bring them inventory. Um, there's always somebody somewhere that needs something from you. So that's kind of what we're doing with this coin. Uh, we're going to offer it to a few guys on Instagram that, you know, uh, would like inventory for their eBay or something else. So uh, this is a great contender for that, but another Facebook coin. Up next, we have this 1887 MS64 Star. Um, this is a uh, great MS64, uh, well, I already said that, but MS64 Star by uh, NGC. Um, it has kind of a unique character to it. We found this coin on eBay. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna post um, what search terms I use um, for you guys and also what I do. I actually look up newly listed of stuff. So when stuff freshly comes out, you're able to uh, look at it, buy it if it's a better deal. Um, so and like I said, we're giving I'm giving out all the best information that I can, so you guys can uh, hunt with me, try to find stuff that uh, best serves you, and also you know just it, this is the way I do things and this helps me find things that aren't. Uh, that are devalued or not or not at the value they could be. So basically what that means is I buy this coin um, because I feel like it is undervalued at what they priced it at and then I find a new owner for it for a higher price. 
And so what you guys you guys can do the same exact thing as me. It's very simple. Um, takes a little bit of work, takes a little bit of time, but um, once again, you guys are are very hardworking people and do a lot of due diligence. And so sometimes it's good to just uh, shed light on what I do and um, how I do it. But let's jump on to the next coin here. We're going to go back to the Facebook groups here with this 1889 CC. Uh, this coin was posted with an XF45 1878 CC. Um, these coins were up for a few minutes. Um, I, I was on the road to the, on my way to Virginia, constantly checking, constantly looking um, when new things come out. Um, a tip for you guys on Facebook is that if you wake up early in the morning, have some extra time, I would stay on those groups, kind of look and see what new things are coming in because most of those older guys on there, uh, they post stuff really early in the morning, they're early risers, they got their coffee mug, they're, they're going away. So if you're, if you're trying to make some money uh, doing this or find the coin that you like, I would say be an early riser, be ready to uh, look for a coin that, um, and look for a deal that you might want to pull the trigger on. Um, this one, like I said, was only listed for a few moments and your boy Bendit bought the coin. Um, and we've been talking a little bit about finding a placeholder um, for or kind of we, I, what I'm going to be talking about actually is finding a placeholder uh, for you in terms of inventory. So having an 1889cc that is straight graded available is uh, something that I want to do and keep um, so when someone messages me, we have that available. Alrighty, we have an eBay uh, coin here. What we did also on this coin was we looked up newly listed eBay uh, bin um, coins, so buy it now option coins. This is a 1916D graded AG3. Um, I still got to take the sticker off of it. Um, but key date dime's been pretty good right now, and I found this coin for a moderate price. I think I bought it for 600 and I'm probably going to sell it for 675 um, That's kind of where the market's going right now. So when I looked it up, did newly listed 16Ds, this one popped up, sent them an offer of 600 or 590 plus shipping. They said yes. I got home. It was already in my it was already uh, waiting for me. So that's something you guys got to got to look after, got to kind of run after and do. Always be kind of on the wa watch list and looking for those certain things because if you have the the funds for it, it's pretty easy to do and um, I actually t talked to a few people on Facebook and they're saying, hey, I need a 16D, hey, I need a 16D, hey, I need a 16D. Um, so there's like three or four people that need it, and there's not many that have it. And so if you can find the right price for a coin like this one, pull the trigger, you'll have somebody for it. It's a key date, always needed. Alrighty, up next is this 1884. Uh, beautiful, t beautifully toned coin here. Um, and what we've, we found this one also on eBay. Um, I, I took a chance a little bit on this coin. Um, it was a little bit of a darker picture. It almost looked like this. It was kind of like you could see the color progression, but you weren't too sure about it. Um, it's got that really deep red, a little bit of purple, and the green going. Um, most likely a Morgan Dollar set right here on it, and it was in a bank bag. Um, this coin, uh, what's unique about this coin is it's in a fatty holder. Um, as you can see, it's that more thick holder. Um, this is not a fatty holder right here, the 16D that we just saw. A fatty holder has to have that really thick plastic on both sides, um, and this is also a green uh, fatty holder, which is a little bit more interesting to it. Um, but the thing about this coin is that it was holded a little bit further back, um, has really nice eye appeal, really beautiful, and there's collectors that want this coin. And so uh, with all the other stuff that I've shown you, you can find a home for that quick. Um, but there's also some things that you want to kind of throw the bait out and see what happens with it. Buy something rare, buy something unique. This one's a little bit more of a unique toner because with many toners, there's only, you know, this is the only toner that looks like this in the world, right? And everything has their little inkling of change and uniqueness. And this coin uh, met that demand for me in terms of having its its eye appeal and beauty to it. Um, and so we found this on uh, we found this on an eBay auction, um, and I was worth worth me waiting out for it. Um, I think I bought this one on the road as soon as I left. Um, and I love this coin a lot, and we actually found a, an own, a new owner for it as soon as we posted it on Instagram. And so, um, what I'm, all I'm doing in all of these coins is I'm taking it from one site to the other and putting up a higher price for it. A price that is fair in terms of market value. So, 
uh, when someone says, how dare you do that? How dare you? If you study the trends and you study the pricing of stuff um, and you offer it for a fair price, I'm not trying to juice everybody for every single cent that they have in terms of the value of it, um, you can make some decent money doing it. You can um, achieve it you want to achieve. And the thing, a story that you guys should kind of uh, resemble and and kind of might, might be able to be applicable to you one day is that, um, you know, when I was in college, I didn't have the money to buy a coin or buy 10 coins or buy as many coins as I want. I had five coins in my collection and I had no more money. And I said, how am I going to have a coin once a day? How am I going to have something new and available once a day? And what I did was I started selling. I started buying and selling. And then one day I run into a coin that I like and that I, you know, I've grown accustomed to, and now I'm buying thousands of dollars worth of coins. I'm buying coins that are worth thousands of dollars. Um, and it's really turned, instead of a hobby for me, it's turned into more of a passion in business, but also um, it lets me collect things that I thought I would never collect. And uh, hopefully one day I can show you guys the video that I had. Um, but let's just jump back into it. I actually bought three coins from uh, a customer on Instagram. So I, what's interesting about buying and selling too is you can sell a coin to somebody and then they, they write you back one day and they say, hey, you're really nice, you're really trustable, uh, we're, we're so thankful that you're, you, know, you offer great service, I want to sell you extra coins that I don't need. So this is an 1886-0, um, a, a guy named Hunter on Instagram sold this to me, he said I had an extra one. Um, and I didn't really like this coin, so can you take it off my hands for me? I sent him an offer. He said yes, sent the coins to me, I sent him a check. It was very simple. Um, and so, uh, I, you know, if you find, a, find connections during along the way, which does take time, um, but it is needed in terms of helping you replenish inventory and everything else. But here's the second coin from Hunter. 1889S has a little bit of unattractive toning to it but it is a more flashy coin. Um, overall, it's a blast white kind of coin. Um, it doesn't have a, an overglaze of kind of that r rusty or dirty look, um, which, which is pretty good for a difficult date, 1889S. Um, but overall, uh, a pretty, a very pretty coin. Um, and Hunter did hook me up with some nice stuff. I always need more key dates, more tough uh, coins. And so if you guys ever need uh, to sell a coin or want my opinion or anything, please reach out to me, Instagram, Facebook, email, all of it's going to be in the description below. Even on the website, you guys can message me with offers on things that you might be interested in. Or if you want to sell some coins, we're always available to talk on any of those platforms. So please reach out if you'd like to. Up next, we have this 1940 um, Mercury Dime. It was great MS64 full bands and it has the gold CAC sticker. The gold CAC sticker is the reason why I really bought this coin. Uh, I bought this from a friend on Instagram and I'm probably going to take it onto Facebook or offer it on on, uh, on, Facebook, on Instagram myself again. Um, I bought this one pretty quickly because I knew that the gold CAC is pretty important on it. I bought this coin for $105 and most of these retail for about 175 but realistically you probably get 145 out of it. So um, that's kind of what I do with a lot of this stuff. Um, you work with gold CACs, OGHs, you work with toners, you work with key dates. Um, you'll know the market, you'll be able to pull the trigger quicker every time, um, know who you're going to send it to. Um, it's really just perfecting a process um, and, and perfecting uh, kind of that carryover, like I said, from Instagram to Facebook or Instagram. Um, to your website or anything that you guys really uh, put your mind to and find that avenue to sell something, um, it can really help you. And that's kind of why we're building up more of a website presence because it's important to have that um, in terms of having one central location for many of your customers to look at the new things that you might have. And so um, that's kind of what we do with that stuff. Um, but overall, a nice coin. Uh, gets me a little bit more of the gold CAC um, kind of collector scene there. Um, and that's that's pretty important um, to look out for. Um, up next, we're going to be showing you this 1903. Um, we found this coin and a few others that we're not going to show in today's video. Um, this coin is 100% blast white, a little bit of a tougher date, not too crazy of a date. Um, but it is a very attractive coin. Um, gives me kind of a slot for 
uh, for, for my, uh, you know, if someone messaged me, I need a 1903 or a 19030, um, I'll have that opportunity available for them. So this is kind of that whole filler for me. Uh, it gives them, um, you know, if someone messaged me or calls me or anything that this coin's available um, and it is for sale. So um, uh, it's just a really nice blast white coin. I bought this from a guy on Instagram. Um, and I also have a few customers that say that send me their lists and I message them, you know, either they're looking for a toned or a blast white example. So um, many of these ways are, are pretty are pretty good when when you have the right coin like this one. So let me show you guys just a few more coins though. What's cool about this coin right here, this is a 1916D uh, graded fair 2 uh, by PCGS. Um, I actually bought um, a raw 1916D from a table in Virginia and they said, hey Drew, we have another one on our website, you want it? And I was like, yeah, heck yeah. I'm like, can I buy it from you at the table? And they said no. And so I actually messaged them um, and bought it on their website. And uh, no one visits their website, or not many people do. And so I was able to find this coin um, in, a, in a place where many people don't know where to look. And that's kind of helpful as well if you're trying to um, trying to buy stuff. Uh, look at the websites and constantly look at the websites um, that aren't eBay. You know, they're coin shop websites that people post stuff because there are a lot of good deals on there and they'll ship them to you. And um, it's getting really savvy with these guys. They're starting to, they're starting to get better at the whole technological standpoint on on listing things and keeping things available online for you so that's something you should look out for um, but we bought this one right after the show I said I, I'm gonna need this 16d I just know it I uh, paid a little bit up for it but that's just the way it goes sometimes uh, this is the key date it's gonna move quick um, and so you know when someone gives you an opportunity when someone tells you something you need you're gonna need to capitalize on it you're gonna need to write write it down uh, keep information in the back of your mind and continue to go after it. You know, if someone says something's available on their website, go check their website. You have the ability, uh, you have the, the wherewithal to do it, and it will benefit you. And so that's something that you should really think about. Also, keeping a website list, acousticcollectibles.com um, might be a good website. <laughs> but uh, I don't know why I'm whispering there, but uh, let's show you guys one more coin uh, before we wrap up today. Um, this is an 1884cc graded MS62 by PCGS. Uh, the thing about this coin, we bought it on Facebook. Um, someone actually sold the coin on Facebook. It was 1884cc graded MS61 or something. They sold it for like 300 bucks, which is super cheap. You know, there's money to be made there. Um, so I said, wow, it's super cheap. Let me reach out to you and see if there's any more. So sometimes when something sells, that's not all that they have. And so I reached out to him and he said, hey, um, I have another one and it has a, a true view. It's almost blast white. Um, would you like it? Um, he started off at 350, got him down to 320. He shipped it to me, um, and this is the coin right here. So, like, whatever door that you guys see, try to knock on it, see what happens with it. Um, the world is your oyster. But thank you guys for taking a look at these coins with me. Thank you guys for tuning in to Acusha Collectibles. Please check out our website. Look at some of our affiliate links below, and we'll see you next time.